Light Middle East, we're going to be talking to some of the industry's top experts about lighting in the region. The market in the Middle East, certainly I've been here since 2007 and I've seen uh, the absolute boom period when I first arrived and we've managed to grow through the slump years of 2008 and 9 and we see now an enormous increase in opportunities throughout the Gulf region. The market in the Middle East is about 4% of the world market and is a very fast growing market. Uh, I think with the uh, uh, renewal hope for Dubai and uh, with uh, Qatar certainly hosting uh, uh, the World Cup, uh, I think uh, there are going to be a lot of uh, big projects, major projects in the Middle East. Just half a century ago, Dubai was a town of fewer than 60,000 people, with an economy built on fishing and pearl diving. Now the population is more than 2 million and the superlatives keep coming. Take the Dubai Metro. Last year, Guinness World Records declared it was the longest automated rail system in the world. Each of the 47 stations is fitted with a range of fluorescent, CDM and LED fittings specified by Atkins. Addressable controls from Dalmatic have been introduced across the entire network, including emergency evacuation routes. Or how about the Burj Khalifa? the world's tallest building. Standing at a staggering 830 metres, this tower was built in 2010 by Samson Engineering and Construction, Bessex and Arab Tech. They say it's so tall you can watch the sunset from the bottom, take the lift to the top and watch it again. The way things are going though, it probably won't hold on to this title for long. Almost every bit of land in Dubai that isn't already a skyscraper or a mall is a building site. There are good quality developers and clients who are really looking for the best in the market, the best that technology has to offer and that um, really do seek advice from the industry, from designers and manufacturers to get the most out of the market. And the other side, we're looking for um, speed of delivery and uh, price per square foot, let's say. Everybody's looking for the best. Uh, they're not looking a lot for, for uh, economic solutions that are really, really cost saving. They look more for the best. To, to, as you can know here, they are looking for the tallest buildings, the biggest malls, you know, the, the best of everything. In November 2012, independent researchers at Italy's Centre for Industrial Studies reported that the UAE's lighting industry was worth 336 million US dollars. Uh, the Middle Eastern market fundamentally is very similar to uh, most of the other lighting markets around the world. Um, but there's always the added complication of, uh, of dealers and, and agents, etc., which have been here for many, many years. Once you've decided how to go to market, the fundamentals are the same. You need to talk to the end users, the decision makers, and, uh, and sell them your product based upon um, you know, its, um, its, its, its features and benefits. The environmental conditions in the Middle East, given the humidity and the heat, um, obviously can, um, can be an issue, particularly with outdoor, you know, ground-mounted up lights, flood lights, etc. Our company, Astra, has manufactured special heat dissipator, or what you call it, heat sink, for the Arab country. We do not sell the same product in the Far East, in Europe, than in the Middle East. We have special product made for the desert. When it comes to Middle East, uh, where, you know, the energy cost is a, not much of a difference, uh, you don't go into much savings, but then yes, this is a future trend. I think that energy efficiency is important to this region. Uh, you know, oftentimes I think there's a little bit of a misunderstanding of the region. There is no less focus on energy efficiency in the Middle East than there is in Europe or there is in Africa. Uh, and a lot of it has to do with the fact that many of these countries prefer to export their energy versus consume it locally. And so a local energy efficiency strategy is good for business for many of these countries. It's booming. It's booming not as it was before. I mean, Dubai will get on, definitely. Abu Dhabi is financing all the areas here around here, which is also going on. And uh, Saudi Arabia will be probably, from my point of view, the number one market in the future. 
Number two might be Dubai, when, would, when it comes to, to figures at the moment, but Qatar is booming quite well, is doing quite well. Um, Kuwait is doing quite well, and the UAE, of course, yeah. I think, I think the, the business in the Middle East will grow. Probably one of the most exciting lighting uh, regions in the world.